2018, 2017, 2016, 2014, 2009, 2005, 1999, 1995, 1988, 1987. Welcome to a new episode of Keep It Clean. It's the first episode uh, that I filmed in Pinner. Had enough of Wembley for two years and a half, so uh, from now on, there's gonna be a lot more action happening uh, for me in the Pinner. I'm just gonna start on Whittington Way and uh, yeah, make my way from here. I found something very interesting. A bag of crisps right here. Um, it's called Smith's Crisps. I have never seen this brand anywhere. It's probably defunct, but do we have a, an expiration date? Yes, we do. Officially, this is the oldest thing I have found. 4th of July, 1987. This bloody thing is 34 years old. It's the small stuff that never gets picked up. It never gets cleaned. I'm talking about, I don't know, this sort of uh, cigarette pack wrappers. This never gets picked up. It's a familiar sight. It's like I'm teleported back to Wembley. This spot has not been cleaned in recent times. Uh, this is a Haribo wrapper. August 2017. Yeah. I think this is a mistake. As much as people expect anything from London, I don't think this qualifies as a two-bed bungalow. I might be mistaken though. You never know. It's a lot of bottles. Alcohol bottles. What do you call it? Jack Daniels. It's a lot of these bottles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 in 10 minutes. That's how it goes. Why? I, I don't know why. Why does this need to happen? There are plenty of bins around. Some people cannot be bothered. Oh, a pair of gloves just like mine, almost. This is another ancient find, a bag of Watts's crisps. Best before, 24th of October, 2009. What day is today? It's 23rd of October. Oh my God. It's almost 12 years to the day. This is a Kit Kat wrapper. It's dated 2018. So it's been lying here in this bush three years, at least. So we keep finding all this old stuff, which which is surprising because otherwise this area is, is quite clean. A pair of scissors. Why would it be here? I don't know. It's hardly a murder weapon. <laughs> you probably couldn't kill a carrot with this. Anyway, Cheetos, 15p. So that's a dead giveaway that something's wrong. If you turn it around, best before. 20th of February 1999 22 years old amazing you can hardly see what these are they are walkers crisps I know it looks really old how old you ask well let's let's see I hope you can discern what's written here 1988 Walker's Crisps, 1988. It's so hard for me to believe that this spot right next to the main road has been neglected for 30 years. Look, look, there's a can that's half buried. Let's pull it out. Let's see what we get. We get a can of Coke. Oh my God, it's so old. I mean, the design of the can is just weird. Let me, let me see if I can identify how old this is. That's at least 20 years old. That's no question about it. The question is how old? What does it say? It's the real thing. We can search for this motto and see when Coca-Cola used it. The bottom doesn't tell me anything. Yeah. But yeah, it's the real thing. Another ancient pack of whatever the heck this is. I have no clue, but I can barely discern an uh, expiration date. It's written right here and it says January 1988. 
again and again and again. Another Coke bottle. This one doesn't look as old as the other one, but if you look closely, it says offer, whatever that offer was, closes 28th of February, 1995. So this is 26 years old and it looks like this, which makes me think the other can that we found was at least 10 years older than this one. I think this is the main issue with uh, having sidewalk shrubs like these. Nobody ever looks beyond that line where the grass ends and the shrubs begin. As long as it's not within sight, it's okay. Rubbish doesn't exist. Everything's fine. We can just let it rot for 30 years. Look how deep this, I think it's a Carlsberg, this can is buried. Let's pull it out. It is indeed a Carlsberg and its age is, ah oh man, I don't know how old this is. It kills me, I need to know how old this is. Okay, you're gonna have to trust me on this. I think it's from 2005. Anyway, it's, it's freaking old. The mere presence of so many bottles and plastics in these shrubs say just one thing about whoever's cleaning up that they don't care this is a can from 2018 a wholesome pills Stella Artois 2020 this from 2014 no clue ah. 2016, right over here. You know what I'm saying? It's whoever is looking at this place just thought to themselves, well, you cannot see it anyway. Let time take care of things. It will cover things up. I hate half-assed jobs. I, I hate it. If you're gonna do a job, do it properly. Don't, don't leave this stuff here. You know, it's just not right. And with that, I think we're done. We've cleaned a roughly 35, 40 meter stretch. And all this, what you see here, all of this was in these uh, shrubs to my left. You could see none of it from the sidewalk. None of it, all of it was hidden behind the leaves and behind the, the grass and the branches, everything. Just goes to show how poor of a job somebody has been doing around these parts. You just cannot find rubbish from 30 years ago. As usual, I'm gonna tie these bags, put them next to a bin, report this to the council, and I'll be on my way home. It's all done, packed and ready to go. Uh, before I end this video, uh, I think it would be a good idea and an uplifting segment if I showed you how things look after I cleaned everything up. So uh, let's do just that. Starting off uh, with this patch of grass. Um, it's clean, obviously. Uh, this was a lot of work right here. It used to be teeming with plastics and uh, bottles and cans, not anymore. Just going to the other side. This as well was full with, you know, just you've seen what it was full with. Um, moving on, this again. It's clean, there's no trace of um, rubbish left. Moving on, this is now clean. And this, you know, it makes no sense to just uh, clean on the surface. It, it makes really no sense. We might as well just push all the rubbish into these uh, bushes and uh, call it a day, but that's not the point. Um, yeah, that's not always good. So, yeah, now we can call this stretch of land clean, like truly clean, not just, you know, apparently clean. So yeah, that was it. That concludes our episode for today. Good luck and take care of your community. Until next time, bye-bye.